In this video, we're going to talk about how you can do uh, client-side filtering to filter the records in a list control in a UX component. In previous videos, we've shown how you can do server-side searches, um, which take place on the server uh, by making an AJAX callback. But in this case, all of the filtering is done in the browser with no AJAX callback. So you can see here, we have a list control based on the Northwind customers table. And if we just go in here and type in LON and then hit, uh, say, client side filter, then you can see there that the uh, data gets filtered and uh, there was no AJAX callback uh, taking place. You can see here also that this uh, label here was updated to show the current record count. So uh, let's go take a look at how this was actually done. So you can see here that we have uh, a control where we you type in our client side filter and then here's our button that actually does the work. So you can see we've chosen list control actions which is basically one of the actions in the UX component category there's list control actions and then um, we've specified that um, from the list of available actions that we want the uh, filter list client side we want uh, to sp operate on the list called list uh, which we picked from this pick list over here and the control where the user will actually type in the value is this control called client side uh, filter so that's all that was necessary in order to uh, define the client side filter now the client side filter operates on all of the controls uh, in the list so it searches um, uh, not just a specific control but all of the controls in the list now uh, in order to get the uh, record count to show, we went to um, defined controls and we picked a predefined control called the list record count, which created a static text control for us that has a specially named uh, span with an ID of um, list, which is the ID of the list uh, dot record count. So that's how we um, how we automatically got the uh, record count to show up as we filtered in the list so MAD and then hit client side filter and uh, there's the uh, data over there so um, a couple other things I'd like to point out about client side filtering there is um, an event that fires so if we go back to our list over here we can see that in the uh, list properties if we go down to uh, more events we'll see that there's a before client side filter event and an after client side filter event and the after client side filter event gets passed into it e dot row count so you'll know how many rows of uh, data uh, uh, satisfied the uh, filter so uh, if for example there were no records found you could uh, 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 reset the filter back to a null value. So client-side filtering is uh, a great way for uh, getting very responsive uh, filtering going on. Um, in fact, uh, one option that you might want to do with client-side filtering is actually, since the filtering takes place so quickly, is instead of waiting for the user to actually click a button, you might want to do the filtering uh, on a key press uh, event. So let's go ahead now and demonstrate how that can be done. So let's go now to the uh, client side filter uh, input control there and in the on key up we'll go now here and we'll say um, UX component list control actions go there and choose the uh, filter client side specify the list control and then specify client side filter as the uh, field that contains the data that we want to filter on and now let's go ahead now and then save this go over to uh, working preview and now I'm going to type L O N D O N and you can see that as I type the data is being filtered in real time so M A D R I D and there we have the filter so client side filtering is a uh, very powerful um, option that you have available to you in filtering the list and uh, clearly uh, in certain situations uh, server-side filtering is going to be appropriate but in other situations client-side filtering is going to be appropriate. Thanks very much for watching.